Hey, welcome back once again to the Gilbertson Aero Factory. Today is Friday, the 12th of April, 2024. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. I don't have a rivet buddy today, but I did realize after going back and looking at Ryan Fly's video when he was skinning his wings that um, I actually can get a pretty good portion of the rivets on the skins on the lower portion done by myself by scooting around on my butt on the floor. So I'm gonna try to get as much as I can on my own today. My arms may be long enough to get a few here, a few on that end, and then I'll go over to the left wing and start working down here uh, because it's probably gonna be middle or late next week before I have another opportunity to have a buddy in here riveting with me to get it done. So we'll see what I'm able to get done today. It's a beautiful day. I can work with the door open. So it's a good day to build an airplane. Let me start off by saying that this first section was uh, painful to do and it's painful to watch. Um, I foolishly decided that I was going to try to get some of those um, well, right there, the rivets you see along the main spar on the inside section where you have no room for your hands to get in there with the bucking bar because um, you're fighting against the, 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 the narrow gap between the, the ribs there where the uh, wing walk um, is and then also at the top of or the top, really the forward end of the spar. Um, there's just not a lot of room to get your hand. You can get your hand in there, you can get a bucking bar in there, but can you get your hand in there with a bucking bar and get a good grip on it and find um, the rivet that you are trying to buck? And so <laughs> I think that I ended up drilling out four of those rivets, and one of them I, I um, really struggled with and ended up having to go up a size, use an oops rivet, and then I drilled oop, drill out the oops rivet because the one that I put in there was too long, and so it just tipped when I went to bucket. So, oh man, this first section, this is the right wing, and my whole goal here was just to get on either end as far in as I could reach, and uh, it sucked. <laughs> this end that I'm doing, the inboard end, sucked, and... Um, it really should be, those should really just all be in the, within the wing walk, um, up there at the top, those should all be done with a, with a rivet buddy. Um, hmm. yeah. So I spent an hour and 15 minutes doing this wing, uh, <laughs> like, oh man, it was just a poor idea. Was it a bad idea to start there? Not really. It was a bad idea to continue once um, I felt what a struggle it was. But instead, I just wanted to beat it, and it beat me. Uh, I, and I did end up getting through one, two, three of those ribs, and they're all fine now. But um, it would have been far less aggravating and much quicker to just wait until I had help with those. So in a moment, I will swing down to the uh, outboard end of the wing, and that was fine. Uh, you've got a ton of room there. Um, it's not difficult to locate um, those rivets. Um, so yeah, pretty straightforward down there. I think I got through on the far end. Well, I guess we'll see here in a minute, so the suspense won't last for long, but I think I got through one and a half, so that first bay and then halfway through the second bay was about as long as my arm could reach where I felt like I could reliably um, buck those rivets without making a mess. So yeah, I didn't have to, I don't think, maybe I did, maybe I did drill one out. I think maybe I drilled that one down here because uh, just got a little trigger happy and um, smashed uh the rivet oh boy so moving on <laughs> that camera died before i got through um but i ended up getting about one and a half base so now i've moved on to the left wing and starting like we did the last one starting with a middle rib on the inboard um main skin 
and I can reach up. Well, there you can see about how far I can reach up. And this went remarkably well, which means that when I do have a buddy to come out and help me whenever that is sometime, probably middle or late next week, um, there won't be, I, I, by the time I have that, I will have two thirds of this wing done, riveted. And so that will be, um, you know, we'll be able to finish it up in maybe an hour um, when that occurs. So this wasn't that bad. The only thing that um, I would say is difficult about this um, reaching up and riveting from here is just uh, being fat. Like my abs are going to be sore tomorrow, uh, presuming that I have any. Um, yeah, it's just awkward. I tried uh, sitting on my creeper there for a little bit of uh, a little bit easier mobility and to get me a little bit further off the ground. And as you'll see here in a minute or two, um, what I found was that. Um, Especially when I got when I got into these um, close together ribs for the wing walk, um, sitting just flat on the floor works better. So creeper was an okay idea, but actually this is more comfortable. Um, and this went surprisingly quickly. I got through six ribs. Each rib I got through two thirds of the rib, and I got through six of them in like 59 minutes, we'll call it an hour, um, without having to, um, without having to, uh, drill out any rivets and, and redo any others. So yeah, this was fine. Um, I could have spent another hour out there and gone to the outboard section of the wing. Um, except, uh, I was a little bit fatigued, um, cause it is, um, it does get a little bit awkward and um yeah it wasn't bad now on the right wing i didn't use the edge forming tool where the skins overlap and i don't really notice it lifting up at all i was thinking about maybe taking the the main skin off of the left wing and using the edge forming tool i'm still kind of up in the air about that it looks like that rivet row might be so close to the edge that um the edge forming tool could actually put a break where the rivets are so um I haven't made up my mind about that yet. We'll see how I'm feeling about it tomorrow. But that's it for today. It was about two hours and 15 minutes. See ya.